Tesla Giga Texas installed and began testing the fourth Giga Press for production of Model Y. In this report, I'm going to tell you what Tesla hopes to achieve with that installment. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and also like this video. Give us thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. So Tesla Giga Texas has installed and started testing the fourth Giga Press for the production of Model Y. This will greatly expand the factory's production capacity and help achieve its goals. I'm going to tell you about that now. The expansion of production volumes is key to the development of Tesla. The company has four car factories around the world, two of which are new and are just ramping up production after starting operations about five months ago. The new factories have been built on the lessons learned at the Fremont factory and Giga Shanghai and are very efficient. In an effort to optimize production as much as possible in Gigafactory Texas, Tesla, in cooperation with its partner companies, has developed re uh, robotic equipment and machines. The Gigapress is one of such machines. Tesla is using them at Gigafactory Berlin and in Gigafactory Texas. Its goal is to reduce build time of cars, operation costs, costs of manufacturing, factory footprint, factory operation costs, tooling costs, and or quantity of equipment Tesla uses to build electric cars. This in turn also reduces the number of machines needed to make a car frame and the company can build the complete frame itself. Test today, Gigapress is used only for the production of body parts for Model Y, which is the most popular model of the manufacturer Tesla. At Giga Texas, Tesla makes front and rear single piece casts, which also makes it possible to install a structural battery pack with 4680 battery cells. Until recently, only three Giga Presses were known, but a recent drone flyby by Joe Techmeyer, which is a Twitter Tesla Giga Texas uh, uh, blogger, showed an update from Giga Texas. According to the observation, Tesla has already installed the Ford Giga Press and has even began testing it. Joe Techmeyer tweeted the following with these images. A bit of news from Giga Texas today. As I'm going through my footage in my new video from this morning, I've noticed that a Ford Giga Press, which is 6,100 ton version, is now installed and in testing, this isn't the CT Giga Press, but is a big jump in capability, Techmeyer tweeted. Now, as you know, Tesla Giga Texas has another good news, which I reported this morning. This week, Giga Texas celebrated its first significant milestone, reaching a production capacity of 1,000 Model Ys per week. This was made possible by three Giga Presses, which means adding a fourth will expand production and make it possible to reach the target of 5,000 units per week by the end of 2022, beginning the 2023. So how we knew that Tesla made these things? Uh, the, the 1,000 cars produced. According to whole Mars catalog uh, Twitter user, the plant Giga Texas reached a production rate of 1,000 cars per week, a level achieved by Giga Berlin Brandenburg plant in June. The news is based on a photo reportedly shared by a Tesla employee on Snapchat. It presents the shape of Tesla Giga Texas plant, the company's logo, the number of 1,000 cars produced, and the, uh, and the signatures of the employees involved in the ramp up. It's estimated that Tesla needed four months to achieve 1,000 uh, cars per week production since the production started at Giga Texas in April. The plant is envisioned for significantly higher output of electric vehicles, above 250,000 Tesla Model Y per year, according to the 2022 quarter two report of Tesla. So it's just the beginning friends at Giga Factory Austin in Texas. The main obstacle now, I'm going to tell you the main obstacle to, for Tesla to produce more. The main obstacle at Gigafactory Texas for Tesla to produce more cars in Texas appears to be the availability of the 4680 type cylindrical battery cells, which were used in the all new Tesla Model Y all wheel drive version. This seems to be the main reason why Tesla has started to produce in Texas also the Tesla Model Y long range 
all-wheel drive powered by 2170 type cylindrical battery cells. The same as in Fremont, California. Those two versions are produced side by side. Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive, 4680 type cells and structural battery pack, 279 miles, for, which is 449 kilometers of EPA range, 19 inch wheels or 269 miles, 433 kilometers with 20 inch wheels. And the second option is Tesla Model Y long range all wheel drive, which the specs are 2170 type cells, 330 miles of EPA range, which is 531 kilometers with 19 inch wheels or 318 miles, which is 512 kilometers with 20 inch wheels. Friends, the addition of the 2170 type version is a short term solution to produce Model Y electric vehicles at the site Giga Texas, but the main task is to ramp up the newer version with the structural battery pack. That means Tesla needs to produce more batteries to supplement the need. Time will tell how quickly the company will be able to increase the output of the 4680 type battery packs. Uh, 250,000 units per year and assuming 70 kilowatt hour per pack, the need is for 17.5 gigawatt hour annually and that's quite a lot of batteries for electric vehicles. About half of the manufacturing capacity of the entire Tesla Gigafactory 1 in Nevada. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This battery obstacle, uh, this battery need is a main obstacle for Tesla right now to ramp up the production and uh, of Model Y and in its Gigafactories Berlin and Gigafactory Texas, but also to start the production of the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. Last night, I was discussing a, a question with my friend who owns trucking company. So he was asking me about Tesla Semi, when the deliveries are going to talk, uh, when the deliveries of Tesla Semi are going to start. I said, wait, I said, Tesla doesn't, hasn't even started the production of the semi. He said, what is, what is the reason? I said, batteries. Tesla needs batteries and also Tesla needs lots of mega chargers for uh, for Gigafact, uh, for the Tesla Semi to start. I said the main obstacle is the battery. For example, if Tesla has imagined um, uh, 20 batteries to put in one Tesla Semi, for those 20 batteries, this is assuming, huh? this is uh, not, not uh, uh, the right correct uh, numbers, but for those 20 batteries, Tesla can build probably 20 Model Y vehicles, sell 20 Model Y vehicles to 20 Model Y vehicle reservations holders who are waiting in line and waiting for months and Tesla can probably make more money than putting all those batteries in one Tesla semi and giving it to one owner. So we're going to wait and see how Tesla will improve the production of uh, uh, the batteries and that will be the main obstacle to overcome for Tesla in the near future. So what do you think friends about all of these developments? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Let me know your thoughts on this and uh, but still Tesla has done great you know increasing the production and ramping up the production to 1000 model Y per week at Gigafactory Texas. Subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicle news. Uh, like this video if you found the information helpful and look forward to several more coming today. I have several very interesting Tesla and electric vehicle news coming today. God bless you. Peace be with all of you.